Hello, awesome viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to the video. Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss speech recognition in deep learning. So, speech recognition is one of the beautiful things nowadays in virtual assistant or robots or even the devices which are smart devices, right? You recognize, you speak, they type. It's really good, right? Even speech recognition can be found in Alexa, uh, Siri, where uh, these virtual assistants use the some kind of technique or uh, mechanism to understand your voice. Let's say for Alexa, I'm telling, okay, uh, Alexa, play this so and so song. So Alexa says yes. She searches your Alexa music and tries to play the song. Or you're just telling the Siri to call this particular person. It tries to call that particular person. So now. Let us uh, make this part one and part two video series, right? To understand speech recognition in theory in the first video. In second video, we'll try to have programs where we can convert our voice to WAV file. So, and WAV file can be in turn converted into text format. So we'll write a program in Python to make sure it works properly. So let us see what is speech recognition. Speech recognition in deep learning is a technology that helps computer understand and convert spoken words into text. Whatever is speaking, it converts that into text. It's like having a virtual assistant that can listen to whatever you say and turn it to written words. So how it works? So here how it works in simple terms. First is audio input. You speak into the microphone or device like smartphone or a smart speaker. Take an example of an Android phone. We have a Google Assistant or a Siri speak into that microphone. It uh, to a device, it can be a smartphone, like an iPhone, like an Android. Recording. The device records your voice as an audio signal, which is essentially a bunch of sound waves. So how the recording works? It records as a bunch of sound waves. Feature extraction. So deep learning algorithm processes sound waves to extract important features like pitch, frequency, and duration of sounds. The way you speak, right? It records and it extracts the pitch, frequency of the pitch, frequency of your sound, pitch of your sound, and the duration of your sound. Let us see another slide. Now, neural network. So this is one of the beautiful things that CNN convolution neural networks are there, RNN are there, many neural networks are there. Imagine neural network is, a, is like a simple brain. You uh, you give an image to the neural network. It tries to mimic that it reads by itself with the convolution layers, pooling layers, and then gives an answer. Okay. The neural network here, these feeds are then fed into special kind of computer program called neural network. A mini simple brain. Just understand that. This neural network is designed to learn, recognize patterns in the audio rhythm. It recognizes the patterns in the audio. It works instantaneously, guys. The performance of this neural network will be very quick. Like, just like an assistant, right? You speak to the microphone. It types, right? It gives you a text. Training. Before it can understand your specific voice, the neural network needs to be trained. It has to show a lot of example of spoken word. So this assistant, Siri, and everything, it would have definitely got the large set of data sets. They would have trained in different accents, different in the even in English language, we have different accents, right? We have UK, US accent, American accent, like British accent, Indian accent, Australian accent. So these neural networks are fed with lot of data sets. So this is test data with lot of test data previous. So over time, so the over time when it learns by itself. It learns to associate certain audio patterns with specific words. So it learns to understand Indian, Indian accent. It learns to understand US accents. It learns to understand UK accent, everything like that. Recognition. So when you speak, neural network analyzes the audio in real time and tries to match it to the patterns it has learned during the training. So when you speak, this is the real time, right? So you click on the microphone. Now it starts to record your voice. And it fits the neural network. Everything happens in this, in this, uh, at real time with spontaneous speed, right? So audio in the real time tries to match the patterns learned during the training with the data set. 
it then converts to what you set into a written text output the converted text is, uh, could be used for various purposes like transcribing voice messages control smart devices etc so controlling smart devices is lot uh, we can use it in alexa transcribing voice messages if you're sending a message to a person you can even send through with speech recognition right so in nutshell in nutshell speech recognition and deep learning is having a computer that can understand spoken language by learning a lot of examples, it can very handy. It it can be a very handy technology, right? So in many applications where voice commands and transcriptions are needed, even in the Zoom nowadays, right? You do even during the real time when you're speaking with each other, we can turn on the transcriptions. CC it will be there. You can see in a YouTube video also. It try directly converts to whatever you're speaking. And in next level. There is an auto translator. So if you're seeing a video in Chinese, Korean, in the language we don't, which you don't understand, it automatically converts into a real time. So this is a speech recognition. So in the next video, guys, we'll see with a simple program where we can convert whatever you speak into a, a text format. So hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, take care, have a great day, bye-bye.